Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with Fig to show you some of the things that I bought recently. So I actually wasn't intending to make a haul video anytime soon. I actually went home and went to one of our local pet stores and I kind of got a bit carried away because they have some things in there that I can't really find anywhere else. Because of where I live and because I can't really drive, I'm kind of limited to just ordering things from online or from our chain pet stores. So I kind of got a bit carried away with that and bought more things than I needed to. But So if you watched one of my recent haul videos, you know that I was on the lookout for a second litter tray and I'm very picky with what colours I have. Not so much for fig but more for my rats, I prefer them to have like blues and greens in their cage. And I ordered a pink litter tray, not knowing that it was going to turn up and be pink. So I've been on the lookout for another litter tray that is either blue or green. And in this local pet store back where my parents live, I found myself a blue one and I'm super happy that I found one. Just for my sakes, I mean the rats don't really care what colour they get. But I prefer to have everything kind of matching so I'm really happy about getting a litter tray which is such a weird thing to say. But I got a blue one and yeah, I'm really happy that I found one. So while I was there I couldn't help but pick up a few more things and because I wasn't actually going in to buy anything I didn't pick up like a basket or anything and I think if I'd gone and got a basket I would have got so many more things but I couldn't physically like carry anything more. So I only picked up a few things and some of these things is a tiny little food bowl for Fig and he has a couple of green items in his cage so I went for a green one and as I've said in previous videos I do tend to scatter feed him most of the time but for certain things like vegetables and fresh food and stuff like that it's good to have a bowl to put them in so it doesn't make the bedding wet so I picked him up a food bowl and this is such a perfect size for him. So the next two things I picked up are actually things that I have similarly for my rats and I've always wanted to get like the miniature version for Fig but I was never able to find them and I've seen them in a couple of other people's videos and really wanted to get them and this pet store has like all the old school hamster supplies that you'd find years ago so I was really excited to find some of these and the first thing I got is a miniature tube now my rats have two of these one in the cage and one outside of the cage and I really love these they are kind of hard to clean sometimes but they're really good for bending into different shapes so I picked this up for Fig hoping that I could use it to get him to have more of a tunnel system in his cage and yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. So the next thing I picked up is something that I also have kind of similar for my rats and I found a miniature version for Fig and I just had to pick it up. I got it in blue and it is this miniature hamster igloo and something I didn't realise until I actually bought it was that it has these hooks on the back so I can actually hook this onto his cage as opposed to just having it like on the floor in his cage so I'm really excited to put this in his cage when I switch everything around. And yeah, I think he'll really enjoy this. So the next thing I picked up was for my rats, and although I have lava ledges, which if you have rats you probably know what those are, to keep their claws down I wanted something else that was a little bit bigger, and I saw someone advertising this on Facebook, so this was actually from an eBay seller. I'll leave everything that I can linked down in the description, but this is what I picked up, and it's kind of similar to a lava ledge, but just a little bit bigger. It has screws on either side to attach to the side of the cage as another level. And it is really rough and abrasive, so I'm hoping it will help to keep their claws down so I don't have to cut them as much. And this is actually advertised as a bird perch. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> so this was actually advertised as a bird perch, but as I've said in so many more of my videos, bird toys actually make really good toys for rats. So I picked this up, and when I ordered this, I didn't know it also came with a miniature version. Um... So again, this is tailored more towards birds, and I think my rats will be too heavy to use this, so I think I might put this in Fig's cage and see what he thinks of this. So the next thing I actually picked up is for my fish tank. Now, if you've seen my fish tank, you'll know that I have sand in there, which I kind of regret because it's really difficult to clean it, and it just doesn't look that great. So I'm hoping to switch over to gravel when we move house. Um, but for now, I just picked up this gravel cleaner. I'm not sure how well this is going to work in terms of like not sucking all the sand up, but... I needed something better to clean my fish tank. I do obviously have one of these already, but it doesn't have the like suctiony bit on the bottom, so I'm hoping I can use this with sand. If not, then I'll have to probably switch to gravel a lot sooner because the sand is just so irritating. Now the next thing I have to show you, please make sure you've seen my most recent video, and that is my video introducing the fact that I got a leaf insect. Now leaf insects do actually need heat sources. Um, they need to be about 23 to 30 degrees, I think and it's not usually that temperature in the UK very much so it's important to have a heat source and you might not know this about me but I'm not just interested in owning like rats and mice I'm really interested in owning a lot of other animals but it's just not been the right time for it so buying a heat mat, which I have here was really exciting for me because I've always wanted to own reptiles and amphibians so buying something that kind of is 
commonly used for those was really exciting to me and it's making me excited to own reptiles and stuff in the future. Before my leaf insect I did pick up a heat mat and this is probably one of the smallest heat mats I've ever seen but I got this from eBay and because I'm not too familiar I'm not too sure if it's a good brand or not but it seems to be working really well. So yeah I just picked up a heat mat for my leaf insect to heat the underside of her enclosure and don't worry I do have an enclosure video coming very soon that should be my next video after this one. Something else I also picked up for my rats and my mouse is some um, Pet Safe popcorn. Now this one is in a banana flavour and it actually smells really good. Now I'm sure you could just pick up some popcorn kernels and pop them yourself and put no sort of flavouring on it and that should be perfectly fine to use in moderation with the animals. But I picked up these because these are relatively cheap where I get them from and yeah they really like these so I just picked up another bag of these. Now the next thing I have to show you is really exciting. I got approached by a rat magazine in the UK to ask if they could use one of my photos of my rats as their first front cover. Now they've only just launched the magazine and I was really excited about this and I said of course you can use one of my photos and they used a photo of my rat Scamp. If you're new to this channel you won't know who Scamp is but he was my rat that passed away back in December and it was really nice to be asked to use a photo of him just to remember him and this is the finished result. Can you see that? There we go. So this is the finished magazine, this is the spring edition and yeah it's really nice to have this and have Scamp on the front cover of a magazine. I'm hoping to get like a frame or something just to frame this just to remember him by. And on the inside she was kind enough to let me put a little advertisement for my channel. So there's my face. <laughs> so yeah, that is everything we have to show you today guys. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more unrelated videos from us and we'll see you in our next video.